All right. I got my neighbor here, buddy Bill. We're going to talk about his 39 Ford pickup. Bill, tell me about the truck. All right. So tell me about it, Bill. It's a 39 Ford half ton pickup. Uh, it was purchased at the Turkey Rod Run. Came out of New York. It was a supervisor truck. The body was in fairly good shape with very little rust. Uh, it has a 49 to 52 flathead motor in it with aluminum heads, two carburetors, uh, mag, uh, and a three-quarter race cam. Uh, the truck has uh, been modified with a five-speed rear end, five-speed transmission with a Maverick rear end, eight inch and a four inch front drop axle, all brand new with disc brakes Sweet. and everything. Yep. Uh, car runs and drives good. Uh, it's been as far away as 600 miles on one trip. Up to Alabama, right? Yeah, in Alabama. And uh, the overall theme of the truck is to try to keep it to look like it would, might have been back in the day with few modifications to it. Everything works on the truck. It has a has a heater. Uh, the window does crank out for cooling. The cow vent works, and just about everything that's on the truck was completed and done. Uh, the Grassy Fork Fishery, uh, world's largest goldfish hatchery, was from my town in Martinsville, Indiana, and it was the big largest goldfish hatchery in the world. It's in 1976. Other than that, that's uh, about the, the whole... The gist of it. The gist of this truck, yeah. Can you open up the hood? The hood was louvered by a good friend of mine. He's no longer with us uh, in Indiana. And uh, he did several louveries jobs for several people. Take a look at the flat motor? Yeah. Really nice louver job there on the hood. Anybody doesn't know that's a flathead Ford. Not it's a, all it's all Edmund Customs with manifold and heads. Not a small block Chevy. <laughs> I don't know if you can get the back where the trunk is with the fish food on it because I got it. Yeah, that's all right. And our buddy Luke here in Ocala did all the, uh, the lettering and the uh, pinstriping on here as well. Thank uh you. -huh.